intro video to the Eastwood letting. Um, so we went all through this stuff again. What I'll do is I'll show you how I'm going to use all this. I'll tell you where I bought it, how much it cost as we go through. Um, I want to get right to it so we don't spend too much time introducing all this stuff and you guys don't watch the video. So let's get to it. First thing we're going to do today is we're going to do the roof to the sail panel, just like it was stock. We're going to lead this and we're going to lead the back. Um, this is where we're going to start today. So first things first is prep. With leading, it has to be clean and it has to have something to grab onto. So as you can see, I already started here. Um, that's a 60 grit roll off disc on a grinder. I'm gonna go do the whole thing, make sure this is nice and clean before we start. Um, you wanna get up a little further than you think you're gonna to use. Cause if you have a dent here and you're like, oh man, and you gotta reheat it and all that, then it's a whole big problem. So we're gonna go about in this area here that way, if we have any problems, we can go ahead and extend the lead. It'd be easy to do. So let's go ahead and get doing that. So the next thing we're gonna do on this, see it's all roughed up. The name of the game is keep it clean, keep it rough. Um, I used my air chuck, just kind of blew the dust off of it. So the next thing we're going to do is clean it up. So we're going to use Eastwood's tinning solution, uh, tinning butter they call it. So how you clean this is you're going to use a copper pan scrubber. I got these at Walmart, like $3.97, pretty cheap. Um, so when you take these, because this is going to be hot, so you're going to have to heat this whole area up so that butter will melt. Use some Viber scripts, crimp these and then we'll clean it up. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna heat this area up. Um, you can see, just put this right in, right in the vice grips like that. Here's my tinning butter, so I'll put it in here, heat that area up, and I'll start scrubbing it. So let's go ahead and heat that area up right now. Um, we'll scrub it, and then we'll go to the next step. Stick. So we got to get the acid out of it. So go borrow your wife's baking soda, big sand club pack of it, mix it with water. We're going to take a rag. Um, the only thing with the rag is you got to make sure that you don't leave the pieces of the rag in. And uh, we'll go over that in a second. But let's get this baking soda mixed and clean that up. So we're going to go through here and make sure there's no pieces of towel left over. We'll just kind of go through here and look what's on here, clean some stuff up. It looks really good, so we're going to go ahead and start heating it up and getting our tin on here. What we're going to do, once we have our paddle ready to go, nice and flat, sand it off, all contaminants off, we're going to heat up our paddle tallow, I believe is what they call it. Don't quote me 100% on that, but I believe that's what it's called. So we're gonna heat that up, get it on the paddle, wipe the excess off just enough to keep a glaze on it so our lead doesn't stick to this. Uh, we do not want lead to stick to this. When we come back and we'll see it start sticking, we'll, uh, we'll put some more on it and keep moving. So let's prep that. We're ready to go. Um, another thing is this, you don't want your lead to have any contaminants. And this it was in a plastic bag and it fell out in the box. So I'm gonna take some sandpaper here and I'm just going to clean all the contaminants because it's awfully dirty. Um, so we're going to, we're just going to make sure all the contaminants and everything are off of this before we use it. Um, 
one of the things that one of the videos I watched that if there's contaminants in there can come out like three months later. Um, so don't want to have your paint job getting redone in three months. So let's make sure everything's clean as we can get it. And then we're going to go ahead and start on this. So let's get everything prepped and we're going to go. Here we go. First things first, we're going to get this towel heated up a little bit. You know, when you watch all the YouTube and you practice whatever, it's usually on flat surfaces, not uh, 90 degree surfaces or so it just wants to keep running. I have a giant mess here. So what I did is I messed around a little bit and came realized if you let this a little cooler and just let it drip, it would stick in this. Um, it is starting to stick now. It's looking pretty good. But I'm averaging a, a whole stick of lead, well, about three quarters, because you can't use the whole thing because it'll burn you. But um, it, um, heat it up and shape like I've done here so far. Um, seems to work pretty good. This is a quarter pound of filler already right here. So um, <clears throat> just so I ordered a quarter pound. I didn't know how long, it, how much it would take, but I need to order a lot more than that because I got the whole other side to do and the drip rails um, to shape those in. So anyway, we'll go through this right now and show you what I found was the easiest with this. I just heated this up. I keep checking it with my paddle, making sure I keep my paddle moved up. And if this gets a little softer, I'll start shaping it into the, into the area that I need. And I kind of knew, like, when I was doing this, that. I knew I was going to have to shape it, so I didn't really care too much about where it dropped to. That's the beautiful part about this. If it's in the wrong place, just heat it up and move it. if I want to cut half of it on the floor trying to figure out how to make it stick in here but it's looking pretty good um, I could keep messing with it but I think the, this has a pretty good dip in it so I'm gonna need some more lead here so now that I got it leaded a little over what I need. Now I'm going to take my file. I'm going to go back and get it down to about the level of the car and use this as kind of a straight edge. Then I'll come back here and I'll sand it down and then this will be done. We'll move to the next side and come back in here and I'll, when I do the body work on the car, we'll go ahead and use filler on this and make it perfect. I talked about earlier in the video when you're messing with lead I do have a fan down here that pushes air um, but when I sand it I just want to make sure I wear my, my painting respirator just just to be safe and I'm gonna knock this down with 60 grit um, even with the vacuum hose on here just a little extra precaution when you're messing with lead so let's get the sanding that down this video like and subscribe please I'll, I'll keep making them if you keep watching